colors tutorial. So over here, I've got you know a lot of images of everyday colors we see, you know rainbows or or colors in festivities and and and, and the visible spectrum. And if you, if you were, took physics classes, or or or, or I mean, I mean, I mean the rainbow itself is a visible spectrum too, because light is split by you know the prism and on and 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 all the rest. But all these colors in life, and and I could have had a lot of more images, but you know my sort of canvas got limited. I couldn't fit any more. All the images, image, images we see, all the colors can be represented in computers using numbers. I mean, computers can only understand numbers, so it's it's not surprising that we had to figure out a way to to find uh, a way to represent any color, all the billions of color, through three possible values. Now, whenever you see RGB, it usually takes three arguments. Uh, and then the first argument is red, the next one is green, and the next one is blue. And uh, and always in all RGB colors, this sequence is maintained. It's always red first, green second, and blue third. Never, you know, you'll never see blue first or green, you know, last. No, it's always in a specific sequence. In this video, I will show to you how any how how the how the major colors we see can be represented in rgb and then maybe sh maybe uh, do some like in between colors so uh, first i have red let me get my white red okay so ouch okay the computer sometimes does things i don't I can't predict so i can say well that that looks like a red over there um and I have red over here and red over here as well and red over here I mean I'm again approximating I mean they're not exact red and we'll just say they're 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 quite red maybe maybe this one over here okay this looks very uh that looks like a like a like a red with a bit of a, a bit of a maybe a, a blue uh, so the reds in RGB is okay looks okay there we go a red color a pure red in RGB would be okay let me make my brush a bit less thick it's too thick Ouch. Uh, R okay that's too thin okay can't see anything. Okay, RGB is 255, 255, 0, because there is no green. Red is a pure color in computers, and 0. And whenever I tell the computer, okay, RGB 255, 0, 0, it would mean, okay, look at a pixel and put this color onto the pixel, which would to us humans appear pure red so red on the re red right over here a very it's a, it can't get any redder than than this can't get any, any redder and uh, let's try the next color uh, orange so let me bring up my color swatches to know whether you can't see that let me make my brush a bit larger orange 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 is an interesting color because it's a mixture of in RGB I mean I always like to think about how can you combine red green and blue to give me orange uh, it doesn't look like well how could that be done RGB I know for sure there is a lot of red in it, but how much red? I think there's gonna be, you know, half red. Close to half. So half red in its full color plus half of uh, yellow. But wait, RGB, green, okay, so there is no yellow. Hmm. 
Let me try half green and see what happens. Half green. Blue, orange and blue, and I, I don't think so. I think it's there's zero blue. Intuitively thinking, if there was any sort of, uh, any trace of blue in red, it would look violet. If there was any trace of blue in green, it would look, it would look like this. It would look like this over here. So I'm, f I'm definitely sure that, okay, you know, this is red and this is green. So orange had to be a mix of, okay, red and yellow. But we don't have yellow, so maybe green. I'm just guessing. Uh, and I'll maybe do an experiment quickly in my computer to check whether this is right or wrong. So let me open up. Uh, let me open up a. Oh, I have a, I, there's an easier way. Okay, Photoshop. Okay, so Photoshop actually can show me what what color gives an RGB value. Uh, so let me go to color and color is under window and I'm looking for orange so I can just put in my color uh, RGB values over here. I, I sort of said okay half of 255. So that's one, two, one, two, two, four, roughly well it's a decimal number but RGB values are only integers um, because they, they don't have any you know point value it's it's uh, it's a fixed it's an integer value so it's 2 times 1 2 2 2 is a 4 pass on 1 2 7 is a 14.5 but i'm i'm just going to round it to um, 120 128 128 roughly half of 255 so let me put it over here 128 and I said blue, no way, it's gonna be zero. Okay. And green, I thought. Okay, let me try 255 green. Well, it colors a really uh, sort of a, a really a fluorescent uh, neon neon green, but no. I, I sort of estimated. Okay, maybe 128 half of 255. No, it doesn't work either. Okay, I think I was wrong in my guess. Let me make that 255. Ah, okay. So we need a full dose of red and a half a dose of green to kind of make sense. Okay, like it's like take all take all the red and take a bit of green to give us orange. Okay. That's how I at least intuitively think about, you know, how why does RGB why does RGB two fifty five 128 or roughly 128 I mean it could be a bit more with a bit less uh, a bit more green would make it would make the red move to the right right so a bit more green would make the color more yellow orangey and I can, I can show that to you right over here 255 128 and 0 that's our sort of orange orangey I can I can make 128 go up by 10 so I can make it 138. Oh, no. I made it 11,038. No, no, no. 138. Okay. Okay, I can make it... Let me maybe double-click it. So, okay. I can have the entire window to me. 138. I can make it 148. Okay, it's getting lighter. Maybe put it over here. Okay, I'm not over there. Okay, 148, 158. Okay, let me, let me try a really wacky, really, really, really large value like 200. 200. Ah, okay. So it does look like it, it does look like okay, all this red with you know as as I increase the amount of green I add to my red, I'm moving all the color to the right. So it's becoming more sort of yellowish orangey as more green is added to my 255 red. Okay, so it makes perfect sense. Well, at least perfect sense intuitively. Uh, and there's a lot of technical data, sort of uh, numbers uh, behind understanding how this happens, but I, I like to understand it intuitively. Intuitively, it's easier to remember. Easier to remember, remember. So that's zero because no blue. And I have 
maybe I'll try four other colors uh, in this video um, before I run out of time, before, I, uh, before YouTube tells me no more time. Uh, what's the next color? Yellow! Yellow. So I'll take my yellow. And I'm approximating yellow because this is not the exact yellow that, say, RGB of yellow would give me. Uh, I think that sounded a bit confusing. Um, but let me do the RGB value first and then we'll see how does the real yellow look like, a real RGB yellow. Yellow looks like to me, okay, take my red, pull it to the right by a, by a full swing because I see like perfect green over here, right? It looks like perfect green. And this looks like perfect red over here. So I'm going to swing it down over here. So I'm starting with 255 red. And again, uh, any sort of non-pure values, any non-red, non-green, non-blue values have to be made from have to be made from combinations of red, green, and blue. If it's like green, I could I could have just said okay zero, you know my green 255 and zero but I'm making yellow now so for yellow it has to be a combination and I got my red I'm gonna push this push this red by I'm guessing uh, 255 green because it's a, it's a long push to the right it's a very long push to the right to get me this yellow nice yellow mm. and I don't see any blue in yellow because it, uh, just I mean, if, if there was any hint of blue and yellow, it would look like green. <laughs> um, so let me let me experiment that over. Experiment with that over here. 255, 255, and zero. Ah, that's the real green. Okay, perfect. Oh, that's the real yellow. Okay, my bad, my bad. I'm seeing wrong colors. Now, what do we have left? I have green. Okay, green, which is so green is pretty easy. So I'll do green really quickly. I'm gonna maybe I drop out the green I think is pure green over here. Okay, make my brush a bit larger. And okay, get my white color RGB. Green, okay, no red because it's a pure color. It's a pure color, doesn't need a combination. 255, 0. And, you know, uh, I can show it to you again. 0, 255, 0. Whoa, okay, that's, 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 that's a really bright green. Okay, I guess I guess it got the wrong color. Um, okay, so, well, it's, it's an off green, okay, so. But, but you get the idea. It, it, it's, it's a really bright green. That's that's the pure green in computer colors. Then I've got blue. And again, it, it's an approximate blue. It might not be the exact blue, exact computer blue, but uh, I mean, even even an exact computer blue can be modified to to give me this type of blue. But I think I'm confusing you again. Let me let me do the RGB first. RGB of the blue. A blue is a pure color, so it should be 0, 0, 255, which gives me, let me check it in my nifty color calculator over here. Nice, so that that's the type of blue I get. Okay, um, and after blue I have violet. Uh, indigo, um, I'll, I'll, okay, I need to change the color of my brush. Indigo is also possible. Uh, I'll maybe cover indigo in, in the upcoming videos, all the other types of colors. For violet, it's again RGB. Violet looks like a combination of blue, and blue is sort of pushed to the right with a mix of red. So, mm, how much red, by the way? I don't know. Let me let me start with full red. I'm I'm going to give a blue a full swing to the right to become violet. Maybe. Let me experiment that experiment with this values 255. 255. Okay, that's the violet. That's a pure violet that a computer color, a computer violet looks like. 255. 
this should be a blue so but I'm since I'm using white for the sake of consistency I'll just use white and that is blue no that is violet 